Rose, as it feels like we've done this before. Uh, welcome back. How does it feel to be a Brentford player again? Now, firstly, just, just I'd like to say thank you. Like words, obviously can't explain how delighted I am to, to obviously come back to the team that that's, that believed in me, you know, from the start, and they kind of moulded me into the right back that I am that I am today, you know. And the opportunities like was one that I couldn't turn down, you know. I've been training for the last couple of weeks with with the squad, and I've seen the philosophy and, and the route that the, and the direction that the club want to go into, and it's something that I wanted to be a part of, and I made that evident. If we go back sort of towards the start of the summer, how did it come about? You know, how was the first contact made, and then, and then obviously coming into because you it weren't the only club, Brentford wasn't the only club that you've been at this summer either. Yeah, no. What, what happened at first was um, we we automatically got the call from Phil that you know he's always welcome to come down to train, um, and then they'll, they'll have a look at him if 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 he's up to speed. And I always thought that's always that's always nice to hear, you know, and and. Going back here would be nice because I still knew a lot of the players and the coaching staff and the backroom staff are still still the same. Um, and when things fell through with Celtic, you know, I said I said to my agent that I need to go in to train because I missed at least I think I missed three weeks of pre-season, which is which would have been crucial and ideal for me to um, have, have taken part in. You know, um, so then I spoke to Phil literally the day I came back from uh, Austria, and he said come in, and then and then that was it. And did it feel like? Stepping back into a familiar place as soon as you walked through the doors. Yeah, like the minute I walked in, you know, and I saw Peter Gillum, who um, he's the player liaison officer, and like he was just chuffed with um, with that that I'm training with the lads and even the kit man, the analysis people, even you guys. When I, when I saw you guys, it felt it felt like a, I'd been away for a, for a holiday and come back home. Um, but now I'm just now I'm just looking forward to, to to having a successful season with Brentford. And physically, how, how do you feel? Because obviously it's been a, a very tough two, year, two years for you. No, physically I feel, I feel like I'm getting better every day. And like I said, I missed, I missed the crucial part of pre-season. And that was illustrated to me by the, um, the physios when, when they did their tests, that I'm still a couple of, a couple of weeks away from um, joining in with the, with, the, with the first team games uh, on the weekends. But physically I feel like I'm getting better every day. And I think I need, I need a block of a block of maybe three or four weeks to put together good training sessions and then go forward and then and that should be enough. And not just mentally but football wise as well, this is a place that must have some, some fantastic memories for you and must give you confidence coming back to a place that you know so well and have had those good memories at. Yeah, like, like you said, <laughs> there's a lot of memories that I've, that I've had at this football club, you know, and, and like I said earlier, the philosophy and the direction of the, the club and the route that they want to go down is something that I like, you know, it's, it's my type of style of, of football and, and for me, I just, I can't wait till I'm, till I'm a part of it week in, week out, you know, and putting all my, my injury stuff in the past and behind me. And as a, as a footballer and as a person, how different are you from when you, you first joined Hull? I think when I first when I first joined Hull, I was I was a, I was a kid, if if you want to put it like that, you know I was I think I was 21, you know, and I've done a lot of mature in, in, in the north, you know, and, and they say London lads struggle in the north, you know, and and at first I thought I was going to struggle, you know, but I grew up mentally and and physically and on and off the pitch, and I had to grow because it was going away from what I was used to living in a, in in the countryside. Um, where I can't just walk down the road to see my friends, you know, it was, it's, it's, there is a difference and sometimes you have to just, you have to stay in your house, you know, and, and, and make do. Whereas in, in London, you can always go to nice restaurants and you can always go and see your friends. So it's, it's a different way, but, you know, like to say, I've grown, I've grown as a, as a player and, and, and as a guy. And, and that's the main thing. And what, what's next for you in terms of getting on, getting onto the pitch? Um, I think for me, next is just once I'm on the pitch, the, the the main thing is to stay on the pitch, and and to fight and to fight for my fight for a position that I'd like to I'd like to have, you know. And there's there's a lot of quality in this change room, and it's not going to be easy. Um, so I just have to bide my time, you know. And when it comes, um, I have to take it. If that's either right back or left back, you know, as long as I'm playing, I don't I don't mind. Um, we we as the club Twitter account have got an awful lot of messages in about announce Moses, and I'm, I'm sure you have as well. That must just show how the fans. Yeah, rate you as well, though. Yeah, it's always nice, you know, to, to hear to hear things like that and to even see things like that on my Twitter. You know, for for being out for two years, 
that's it's a long time ment mentally and physically, you know. But to still see that there's just support from the Brentford fans, not only the Brentford fans, but a lot of fans who follow me, it's just it's just amazing, and, and I can't wait to pay it back to, to them and just to the world. And obviously on on the pitch, your, your season with us ended in the playoffs. Your your full season with Hull, you played ended in promotion through the playoffs. So you you know what it takes to get to the very top end of, of this division. Yeah, like 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 you've touched up on there. I do, you know, and I think when I look at look, when I look around the change room, there's enough quality for us to for for this squad to be at the higher end of the uh, of the table, you know, and it just it just comes down it comes down to a bit of luck at the end of the day, and, and hopefully that luck's that luck's with us.